first um, speaker we have is Deputy Pauline Tully. Uh, Thank you so much for coming in um, and sharing your stories. And it just can, first of all, commend yourselves and the organisations you represent, and indeed the many other parents' organisations that exist throughout the country and the work that you do, and shouldn't, as you pointed out, have to do. You're only there because the services and supports are not available to you that should be. I want a special welcome to Nolene and Trina from my own area of Cavan, and I know the work the CAPS have done for the last 20 years, and it's been immense. And I suppose in relation to that, because you're the longest formed, um, have you seen any improvement at all in provision of services and provision of school places to meet the needs of autistic children in Cavan and, and elsewhere in your time? Um, I know Bernie, the, the founder is not here, but you know, just from your own uh, experiences as well, um, and I am conscious of time, so it's very, just to be very quickly as well, on um, early intervention, you're saying there the HSE were in here with us last week and they were trying to tell us that an assessment of need wasn't required and that a diagnosis wasn't required. And I don't understand that because an assessment of need outlines the, the services and supports that a child needs. And then unfortunately, in, in an ideal world, maybe you wouldn't need a diagnosis if there were sufficient places for all autistic children in our schools, but there isn't. And I think schools are kind of dependent on the diagnosis in order to uh, allocate the places because there's so few, but also it makes sense that they would know what the needs of the child are as well. But just even if you want to comment on that, and I know you said about the PTA and that you warned against the PTA, and I know other clinicians warned against it as well. And we see the mess we're in now because so many children have received this PTA really is not a proper assessment, it's just put them on another waiting list. Um, and, in, and in relation to schools, I'm just, I read through your, your survey and um, Unfortunately, I've heard similar stories from other parents as well. And I'm just wondering, you shared that with certain organisations. Have you shared it with the NCSE? And if so, have you happened to know? So I'm just wondering, would it be worth sharing with them if you haven't? And if so, what comment or response have you received, if any? Because I know some CNOs I've worked with in the past are excellent, while many others just do not seem to understand their job, maybe. I don't know. They're not liaising with the children and the families that require their support and seem to be almost the gatekeepers for the department rather than supporting the family and the child in finding a school place and then maintaining that school place. So uh, I'm just conscious of time. So sorry, Chairperson. So. Uh, well, in regards to uh, services, it's actually worse um, than it was. Um, I know from my own, um, from my own experience, um, when my kids were diagnosed, I have two kids with autism, when, when they, one is nine and one is ten, um, when they were first diagnosed, um, there were services there, but for one reason or another, they haven't had services now for the last five, at least five, six years. Um, in relation to um, education, um, in Cavan, we are, we're, we're okay on a national school level, um, but we just actually spoke about this on the way up in the car, like there, there is, there's, uh, and, and when it comes to secondary school, there's a lot of funding being put into um, autism classes at, on a national school level. But when it comes to secondary school, um, there's nothing oh, there. There's nothing it. there at the moment. And actually, it's quite frightening now, you know, to think my children are in, in second and fourth class. And the second one is in mainstream, but the, or the, the fourth class boy is, it will be in mainstream, but the second class one, now I, I have no idea where she's going to go now when she goes to secondary school. And I know, I know, I know that's the case for a lot of parents yeah. in, in Cavan. Yeah. 